Hello, Northwest Arkansas. Hey, this is Coley Bailey with Fathom Realty, and it is January 2022. And so we finished up the year of 2021, and it was a rip roaring ride to higher home prices in our area, as many of you know. And it was fueled by this pandemic pandemonium, <laughs> supply shortages. It's hard to build houses. There's people moving all over the country. We had a lot of people moving from California and Arizona and Chicago and New York and all kinds of stuff coming to our little area, but we didn't really have enough houses for that kind of demand. And so what has happened? Our prices are high. Let's take a look at our now record high home prices that we finished out 2021 with. So first of all, we started out the month with only 629 houses uh, on the 4th of January. Uh, and that was actually putting us at 0.68 months supply. That was about a 28% reduction in our month supply from the same time a year ago. And what that means is that given the same rate of selling, if we had no other houses coming into the market, we'd be completely out of homes within about 20 days. And despite the low inventory, we actually ended up selling through more houses than ever in 2021. Uh, that was 12,269 homes compared to last year's, which was a record uh, of 12,049 houses. And in December, even as we had fewer homes coming on the market, we still continued to sell over a thousand homes, uh, which was continuing the trend of the last six or seven months. Now, in the last monthly market update, I pointed out that we were hitting right below $340,000 as our average sale price. And we had actually tested that about three different times in the, over the last six months. And so that was looking like it was a pretty significant pricing level for our area. Well, we actually blasted right past that in December to $355,000 thousand one hundred seventy eight dollars as our average sale price and along with that remember we were uh, kind of testing this two hundred and eighty thousand dollar level on our median well that bumped all the way up to two hundred and ninety six eight eighty two for our median home sale here in northwest arkansas Taking a look at our price per square foot levels in Benton County, it was $185 a square foot. In Washington County, it was 170. In Bentonville, we had $221 a square foot and in Fayetteville, $183 a square foot. Those were the averages for the month of December. Now I get a lot of people asking, when will this end? When are these prices gonna stop going up? I don't know. Look at markets like most of California look at markets even internationally like in Europe okay the the home prices have continued to go up and up and up in places like that uh, typically what happens is when we get more density more people moving to an area we get prices climbing higher and higher and that is what is happening to our area at the moment now, another thing to keep in mind, one factor that could affect pricing going forward into 2022 would be the federal funds rate. So the Federal Reserve sets the federal funds rate, which is the, the interest rate that banks trade with each other. And so most other consumer debt products are based off of that rate to some extent. Mortgages definitely are. Uh, it's not a one-to-one -one correlation, but it definitely affects those rates. So with that being said, I would expect, the, now the Federal Reserve has made it clear that they want to raise interest rates three times over the course of 2022, and that is coming on the tail of inflation uh, that they are tracking, and they're trying to put a few things in place to sort of curb this inflation. Personally, I don't think they're going to be successful with that. Um, and actually the last time they tried to raise interest rates significantly was 2018 and it actually had a very negative effect on the stock market and the real estate market and they reversed course within just a few months of those changes. And so I don't know if they would actually have the appetite to suppress pricing, to suppress these markets. Um, 
It doesn't seem like there's a lot of political appetite to really do that, but they say they're going to try, so we'll see what happens. If that's the case, keep in mind that if interest rates were to rise by 1%, what that would mean for real estate prices is that for the same mortgage payment, you would only be able to buy a house that is 10% less than uh, a, a current house for the same price now. Okay. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so basically if, if a house was uh, 300,000 and you, you could qualify for that and it, that was the mortgage payment level that you liked, if interest rates went up by a percent, that would mean for the same mortgage payment, you would now have to buy a house at 270,000. All right. So that being said, uh, what it means is that if you wait to buy a house and we continue to have pressure, especially coming in from out of state, moving here, our prices are still cheap guys compared to California, compared to Illinois, compared to New York, our prices are still very cheap and we have people coming in here who've sold a house there they come here with cash and they're just buying properties here left and right with cash paying way over asking price so what that means is that if you wait our prices are going to continue to rise they probably are uh, and remember people buying with cash don't care about interest rates right because they're not buying a mortgage uh, but what it means for you is that if you're trying to keep a mortgage level at the same at the same place you're going to have to buy a significantly smaller house a year from now if those interest rates do rise. So keep that in mind going forward. What, what I'm really telling you is if you've been thinking about making a move, let's make it now. You need to get in touch with me. We need to put your plan in place pronto. You guys know I've got a Dream Home Finder program where we can go find the, the overlooked, the unlisted, the up-and-coming properties that nobody else is really uh, getting access to. Get in touch with me about that. All right. Uh, also, if you're selling a house to go get that next house, I've got the pre-listing price accelerator program, which is going to help you boost your sale price and take advantage of this huge influx of buyers coming to our area. All right. So I hope those things were helpful for you. I hope uh, those numbers didn't scare you too much as a buyer. They should excite you if you have a house to sell though. Well, this was our January 2022 monthly market update here for Northwest Arkansas. Again, I'm Coley Bailey with Fathom Realty and I'll catch you on the next one.